I'm here to entertain you. I'm here to make you smile. I'm here to make you laugh and sing. I hope you stay a while. Put your blues on the run. Let's have fun, everyone. I'm John Bennett, and oh, how I love you. You, 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 you. Hey, thanks for tuning in on my video. Thanks for clicking. Glad to be here. Glad to, glad you're there. Can you do the Rapa Nui? Have you, do you know Rapa Nui? You never heard of Rapa Nui? Jeez. Some people are kind of deprived. Rapa Nui is the god of Easter Island. You know where Easter Island is? It's way out in the Pacific, Southern Pacific. It's the most isolated place in the world. And the people that live there, the Rapa Nui, they supposedly came in two canoes from the from the west. You kind of get your directions mixed up right? when you get in that part of the world, because you know, it's like, well, is Chile? Chile would be east of Rapa Nui, theoretically, but really, Chile is probably the furthest west you can get in the southern hemisphere, right? So it makes Easter Island a very interesting spot, a very probably the most isolated place in the world. And there were people that were living, that were living there. They got there in two canoes from, I guess, the Polynesian islands and uh, started a race of people. I think this was back in the, well, we not that long ago. I mean, the way you, these things go, it was like within this millennia, I mean, within the first millennia, they showed up there around, I think, 500, if my, if my memory is correct, which it usually isn't. And they noted themselves by, made a notation of themselves <clears throat> by erecting these, this, these huge stone heads. And I, I kind of struggle over whether to keep it plural or singular because it's the same head and it's this huge monolithic head. I would kind of this guy with a big jaw and a little forehead, you know, kind of like somebody cut off the top of his head and kind of a pyramid shaped head. Well, not pyramid, but same guy, you know, and there's a thousand of them. There's a thousand of these stone heads and they're all the same and they're huge. I mean, you don't see that kind of stonework anymore. When's the last time people that did that kind of stonework and chisel something out of, well, Mount Rushmore, I guess, would classify as that. But I mean, that's a huge undertaking. And it, and it kind of smacks of Freemasons, you know, stoneworkers, right? Wow, I just thought of that. I'm a Mason. I've studied Masonry. I'm a 32nd degree Mason. Probably didn't know that. You probably don't believe it either, do you? But it's true. I wouldn't lie to you. Not about that. But everything else, pretty much. I'm so good at lying, I can tell the truth lying. So anyway, I think I got to figure out what Easter Island is all about. Because it's it's really an anomaly, and I love anomalies. I was married to an, uh, a woman named Ann Anomaly. Ann Anomaly, you know. I used to date a girl by the name of Teriyaki. And uh, I thought I was going to get laid and I got diarrhea instead. So Rapa Nui, who is Rapa Nui? Who is this, this, stone, this stone guy on, this stone guy on Easter Island? Who is he? Who is that? What were these people thinking? What's going on with these people? I mean, it smacks of monomania, a monomaniacal society out in the middle of nowhere. I guess that's that's what you get when you get that, that when you get that far away from everybody else. 
And I wonder even today, how do these people stay provided for? I mean, it's a big boat that doesn't have any har much of a harbor there. They have an international airport for tourists, and they have tourism. But the, st the, st the island is quite bare. I think it's been turned into a big sheep ranch or something. But when you need something, like you run down to the hardware store and get it. I forget the name of the town. It's like one town. Everybody in, in Easter Island lives in this one town on the western side of the island. It's not the western side of the island if you're headed east. Is it? Anyway. <laughs> I think I got it figured out. I think I know what it's all about. Those people are going there to get away from something. Get away from everybody else, right? I mean, why else would you go there? Get away from from you. Get as far away from you as I can get. <laughs> I've had it. I've had enough. It's kind of what death is, isn't it? Death is, is uh, I've had enough of you. <laughs> At least in this phase. Death is a, is a transphasic event. Yeah, you're going from one phase to another. You're going from the molecular phase to the plasma phase. The plasma, plasma. Get back here, plasma. I mean, get back in this house, plasma. Stop playing with them boys, them dirty boys, those molecular boys. Stop playing with that phase. You know, come on, let's move along. Move, you know, move up a notch. It'll bring you closer to God. I think it was a penal colony. It became, it kind of was a voluntary penal colony. I mean, what else would it be? I mean, that has got to be the choice spot for a monastery. All those stone heads. That's Rapa Nui. That's the name of the guy that they that they named it after. They named the people of Rapa Nui, but they are the that is Rapa Nui. It's a multi-phase event. <laughs>